All right, we're gonna try to locate this water main. It's ductile going that way. So I'm, I know it could be a little resistance on this line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double ground. Hopefully, I can locate it. Cast iron. With the RD, let's see what happens, folks. So you can see I'm pushing out 100 right now pretty good at 5.7 volts. And I'm not double ground yet, so I'm gonna double ground it. Hopefully I get a better tone, better reading. And you can see my voltage, I got it down 3.7 now. So I knocked it down a bit. Let's do a sweep and see what we get. I do get a tone. See how it's not the same tone as as this is moving fast, so I know I'm bleeding off. The water main ductile won't move fast like that. It's going to move slow unless you're ever on steel. So that's right there is bleed off. All right, so it's putting me right here on all five antennas. So I'm using guidance mode because it looks like guidance mode's more accurately. It's putting me right here at four or five feet. So let's see where this leads us. Looks like there's the vault. It takes me to the vault. So let's. So let's see if I just put on regular peak. Gotta be super high on this gain. It's putting me right here, but you see the cup is pushing away because I got I got bleed off onto the other line. But seven feet, eight feet. So let me try it. I'm gonna put on null. See what null does.
so no doesn't help out so it looks like guidance guidance mode is probably the best bet Push me now it's pushed me over so we're going we're getting into this manhole and see what's going on here because it's pushed me puts me right here when I bring it back towards the box So let's do this. Let's get into this manhole after I mark it going that way. And we're gonna see if we could actually locate this off guidance mode. So my guidance mode is putting me way over here. You can see where the next fire hydrant is over there. So, it looks like you can only locate this cast iron maybe 100 feet. And it looks like you have to go back to the next fire hydrant and bring it back. But let's look in this manhole and compare my dots. Let's go look. So you see where my dots are. It's in line with the water main here, but over here it's offset. So if my dots are offset from the center of that lid, 12 inches. So let's go see how this main runs. <laughs> Like that. And there's the water main. So the water main is offset 12 inches to where my dots are. So this one here is pretty close to be marked accurately with the water main. So that's where I got it, and that's how the main's running. Going this direction, it looks like it puts me right onto the water main. You can see. I hopefully, hopefully, you guys can see it. So over here, farther away, it puts you right onto the water main. But closer to the box. It pushes you off of the water main. So let's do a measurement down there. And you lose it right right about here. So I guess with the RDs you could somewhat mark out the water main, but not for a long distance. I'll say max 175 feet and you're pushing it. So 175 feet is probably the max on the RDs. 
and then you would need to go to the next fire hydrant and bring it back so this is time consuming and you have to baby step it you can't go fast with it because it tone slow your tone it's a long tone it'll tone slow so I guess you could locate it for a short distance but I would not recommend it using the RD radio detection my recommendation is getting a pipe horn pipe horn has different frequencies different hertz that you can locate cast iron with and get your your marks more accurately marked out than the RDs, the radio detection. Like I mentioned in some of the comments, the best way to mark out this water main accurately is the pipe horn. Pipe horn is made for this type of cast iron. But it looks like you could locate it with RDs once again. But max 175 feet you need another hook up at hook up spot and bring it back but closer to the box it'll push you about six to twelve inches off the water main and it looks like what far away you go it brings you out to the water main because you can see where my dots here is it's pushed lighting me up where this water main is and right to what we saw in that manhole it's lining up with these dots and you can see how far my box is. That's probably a good 75 feet away. And you can see where the stakes are. It's pretty much lined up where my water main is, but then I'm veering off to this water main, to this manhole lit here. And remember when we looked in there, the water main was right here. Way right here, so I'm about where my foot is I'm about 12 inches so closer to the box it puts you about 12 inches off of the water main This is look like so this is a, this is where they tapped in where they tapped into the where they tapped into the main and, and you can see where the main's at it's offset to the left compared to my dots. So peak and guidance mode puts you eight inches to the right of the main. So I'm off, so my H pattern has to go to the left to cover the main. And you can see the big difference. So you can see where my tone is. And about 13 inches where the actual main's at. It means right here, 13 inches on a 12 inch ducktail. So if you put the H to the left, you're covered. 12 inches. 13 inches. You're covered. All right, folks. We'll go try and get a rod onto that main and see if our tone gets us a different spot. If we get a rod, a rod down, down, touching that main. See what happens. I don't have a rod. 
So let's do the old magnet magnet trick. Got continuity on the saddle. A lot of resistance. I won't double ground this one. I just want to see how it tones out. Seems like I'm gonna get a better tone on the saddle. And you see I'm losing out and I gotta bump it up. So it looks like I'm getting a better tone. Compass is a lot straighter. It goes all the way down. Puts me on. See if we get it going back the other way towards the fire hydrant. And no tone going back the other way. So now I'm on the, the nut, the nut steel. Where everything around it's cast iron. So I'm on a steel nut. I'm on a steel threaded bolt. Let's see if we get a tone on that. Folks, there you go. I made an attempt to locate the cast iron 12 inch water main and with the radio detection 8200, I only got about a true 100 feet that I would actually put marks down. The other 75 feet is pushing it. I mean, you could put marks down. So the radar, radio detection, the RDs, will locate it on 8 kilohertz. With your receiver being, you gotta be high on your receiver trying to pick it up, and you need to mark out this cast iron nice and slow. But you can see in the beginning, I was like 12, 13 inches off the water main. So if I would have flipped my H pattern one way, I would be within tolerance zone. If I flip it the other way, I would have been accurately marked, plus or minus an inch. So. It's difficult to locate cast iron with the radio detection. My recommendation, like I said, is um, the pipe horn. The pipe horn is made for this type of duck tail. That's what they use to mark out the cast iron gas mains in the city. So I think anybody marking cast iron water mains could definitely go use the pipe horn to be more accurately marked. All right, folks, that will do it for the video. Hope you guys like it. Please like. Subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the commentary. Have a good, great day.